Hello everybody. Happy Friday. I haven't said that for ages. It's it has been, been a while. while. It's been a while. Do you know, it was mid-October. Was it, it actually? Yeah, mid-October. I couldn't think when it was. I was yeah. like, oh, it wasn't that long ago. Yeah, no, it was mid-October <laughs> when we, um, we last did a live. So, hello everybody. Do say hello if you're there. Oh, sorry, I'm using a different laptop, so I've now got to... Oh, there we go. <laughs> there we go. Um, People are joining. Yeah. So, do say hello if you are... Um, if you're there, it's nice to catch up with you. I mean, it's been ages, like I say, mid-October since we were last here. Uh, we've had lots going on, lots of exciting things going on. I think we've done a, quite a few workshops since we last saw you. We've had a sewing school. Um, we did um, the West Country Retreat. We had a lovely time, West Country Retreat. That was great. Um, oh, and that's Burgess Lisa says, there. good to see you back. Oh, Glamour's Creation says, hi, everyone, on Instagram. Oh, Sue Cotton, hello. Hi, Sue. How are you? How's you decorating? Have you finished your decorating? Judith Berry, hello. Hi, Judith. Nice to see you. Cynthia says your blouse looks beautiful. Thank What's the fabric? You. Gorgeous colour. Thank you. This is the patina blouse. We finished our sew along, um, which we were doing on a Thursday evening for the patina blouse. This is my my version. Hi, Jackie. Hi, Esther. Um, Hi, Coral. <laughs> oh, hello, everybody. Oh, uh, oh Sewing there. and Going Places on Instagram says, oh, it's all oh, my first time watching you. Oh, hello. Welcome to our lives. We're a bit crazy, but thank you for joining us. <laughs> yeah, just so you know, if you can't see the comments that we're replying to, it's because we're live on Facebook and Instagram. Yeah. So you and Amy not... is behind the camera. I'm behind. see her later. Yeah. Hi, Catherine. How are you? Hi, Catherine. Nice to see you. Um, Cynthia was asking about the fabric for my blouse. This is the, I'll just stand up so you can see a little bit. This is the um, patina blouse, which I did, I did on the... Um, uh, you actually need to up. pull your hair forward and show the back neck as well. Oh, okay. So, so you can see the collar. Because it's so it. lovely how like low it is at the back. Yeah, it's I a lovely collar, isn't it? Really nice. It's got this really lovely big collar. Um, by, uh, it's Friday Pattern Company, the patina blouse. And we did it on a, like I said, on a sew along. Um, and my fabric is a fabric I got from my, I used for my stash, which I'm very pleased with myself. Um, Thank you, Sue. Yeah, it's a really good pattern. It's a great pattern. You have two necklines, and when you look at the pattern, it looks like there's, there's a high neckline and a low neckline, and you think, oh, that low one looks too low. But this is the low one. So it's not that low, it's is not it? So all. do have a look, do double check that, because you have to cut the collar and the facing and the blouse front for whichever neckline you choose. So We have is, been busy, Julie. Yeah, yeah we have right. been very, very busy. Yes. Very Julie. Very Julie busy. Very busy, Julie. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hi, Janet. How are Hi, you? Hi, Janet. I hear you've had your eye done. I hope you're feeling, obviously you're feeling okay if you can see us. That's good. <laughs> you can see to type. I hope you're feeling okay. Um, this is yeah. This is a silk. This is a, a silk from my stash. It's um, one I got. It's a stretch silk actually, and I was going to make a dress from it originally, but it's been in my stash for four years. So I thought I'd make a blouse because <laughs> I was needing fabric for this project. Where was it from? Mood. Mood. It's from Mood. It's um, a Ralph Lauren. Ah, hi, hi Suzanne. Suzanne. Thank you very much, Suzanne. I thought I have to finish because everyone else was finishing there blouses and putting them on the Midhurst Sewers page, I thought I'd better do mine. <laughs> Sue, will you be doing another patina class? Uh, probably not, I don't think so, but if you want to do it in a sewing school or an afternoon school. Um, I, I saw a really good hack for adding a ruffle to the edge of the collar. Oh, that, yes, around the around edge. Around the edge? Yes, I've seen that as well, you could add a little pleated. And on the pattern, is it a dress or is that a hack they've done? Because it was today, Friday Pattern Company sent an email out oh. and they've turned it into a tiered buffet dress. Yes, you could do. With a ruffle. There isn't, that's not on the pattern, but you could do ah. that easily. Because it's, it's a very straight, it's a very square blouse. There's no shaping here. You've got darts, but there's no shaping. Mm. So you could easily put ruffles on it. And yeah, it, it was a, really cool. A blouse. Um, oh, hi, Heather's here on Instagram. Hi, Heather. It's lovely to see you again. Oh, Janet's loving her patina blouse. Yeah, the, I think it was um, the Princess of Wales wore, had a shirt, on, a gingham version of this, and it had a frill, not this particular one, but this type of shirt, and it had a frill around the edge, and I thought that was really nice. I'll do it on Tuesday afternoon at school. Yeah, yeah. come back. <laughs> um, yeah, so yes, you could put a frill around the bottom of this, and it would look really pretty. So I like the sleeves. Lots of things, yeah, the sleeves are really pretty. Hi, Claire, how are you? Hi, Claire. Um... Yeah, so it was a great project, and as I say, this is a, a nice silk that I got from Mood in New York when we were there. But that was it was years ago, so I thought I've got to start going through my Mood, my New York stash before we go next year. Hello, up north, Hello, Lisa. Lisa. How are you? <laughs> nice to see you. We thought we might see you at the Harrogate show, Lisa. We were there a couple of weeks ago doing the knitting and stitching show in Harrogate, and we had a stand. So Amy was there with the stand. And do, do you sell the patterns? Oh, we haven't got any at the moment, Ashley Sue. We haven't, we're out. We haven't got any of those ones at the moment, so 
We will have them again, but not yeah, for a few Yeah, I'm sure weeks. we'll get them back in now. Mm. Um, yeah, so we, lots of our lovely ladies from up north came to say hello to us at the stand, didn't they? There's they quite did. a few people. Yeah, it was nice. It was it was really nice. It's always nice to catch up with people. And I was busy teaching, and he was on the stand. So, uh, yeah, it was lovely. We had a lovely week up in Harrogate, didn't we? Yeah. Really nice. Really nice. So that's quite nice. I got to meet some ladies that I hadn't met before, but we had only met through Zoom on so long. That's right. But they'd never made it down here because they were from Scotland. Good evening from Paris, Jean. Oh, hi, Jean. How are you? In Paris, so I'm sure she's fine. Yes, I'm sure they're absolutely fine. I love that you've taken the time to watch us from Paris. Yes, thank you very much. Julie, I missed the Harrogate show this year. Oh, it was lovely, Julie. It's always, it's always a nice show, isn't it? It's one of my mm. favourites. We love it, don't we? Because it's always really Christmassy as well, isn't it? Yeah, it's really nice. And it's nice because the show is in the centre of Harrogate, so you can just nip out and get food and go for dinner and lots of nice bars. And it's just, it's, yeah, it's really thriving, isn't it? Feels like it is. Uh, the screen keeps it. Spent a fortune with Rosenbow a few weeks before. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you want a retreat in Coventry anyway? Oh, well, never mind. It's Didn't probably mean, for the best, Lisa, because yeah. there were lots of good stuff there. Yeah, I was saying, strange. You bought some. You might, might have bought some fabric, mightn't you? I did buy Maybe. some fabric. Well, we happened to be opposite a fabric stand yeah, that had too. really nice fabric. So and I then just... you get there was different stands there, isn't there? A Harrogate. There's different suppliers. Yeah. So it was nice to see um, a few different people. Was it, in, in it was Emporia Patterns actually, Emporia. who do um, exhibit in London as well. Mm. So yes, and I got some nice coaching from them. Yeah, so lots of that was really good fun. So we done that. We did that. So we got back from Harrogate. We ended a week in between the retreat and the show, actually, didn't we? So mm. a little bit uh, crazy. And uh, we yeah, we had to hire a van. Amy drove the van all the way to Harrogate. I did a giant yeah, van. A giant, giant transit van. I'm a very good van driver now. You are. Yes. Chris was very impressed with my reverse parking outside here last oh, week. Oh, was he? Yeah. He said, oh, he's never seen me reverse that well, ever. I know. He's going, can you see near us? <laughs> yeah. No, it was good. It was a really big van, so it was great. That was good. So it wasn't as quite as daunting as we thought, was it, actually? No. The whole, the whole process of doing it all ourselves. And we had some help from our lovely friend, Dan. I don't know if Dan's watching tonight, but... Um, uh, so also we've done, oh, we had a lovely class with Claudette Joseph doing um, origami, origami pattern cutting. Lots of you came along for that, which was just, yeah, really inspiring. Claudette does the TR cutting, which is transforma transformational reconstruction. Uh, so lots of really interesting pattern cutting. And we did a taster class last week. Um, and yeah. It was yeah, mind blowing, and we're doing another one in January, and then hopefully Claudette's going to come back and do some more classes with us because it really is, yeah, quite exciting what we did with the with um, the pattern cutting for that class. And last week you might have noticed that we did the winter soiree dress workshop, which was really good fun. There was velvet and sequins everywhere. I'm still finding sequins. Yes, that was that Jenny with her sequin dress. I found them on the front step. Yeah, I saw them. <laughs> So that was lovely, people making lovely dresses. Cynthia's lovely pink dress, actually, which um, was really pretty. That was silk velvet, a couple of silk velvets. Um, yeah, today, this week, we've just finished today, actually, we've finished the pyjama workshop. So I'll put some pictures up of some really lovely fabrics made on the pyjama workshop today. Who usually helps you with getting up to the Harrogate show? Well, we did it but, ourselves, didn't yeah, we? we did it all by ourselves. Yes, we, we did. We loaded the van ourselves, yes. drove the van, unloaded the van. Yeah, because normally with the, for the London shows, we, we have a man and van who helps us. They come here and they, they just take everything and unload it for us. But it would have been it would have cost prohibitive to have a man and van to have a good. It was. So we did it all ourselves. Uh, Sue absolutely loved the pattern cutting class with Claudette. It was good, wasn't it, Sue? Has anyone had a chance? I don't know if anyone who's, who was here has a chance to try and do it with the fabric yet. Because we all made a lovely pattern. I don't know if anyone's actually tried it with the fabric yet. I'm cutting out pyjamas, my second pair. Oh, is that, are you yeah. doing the Carolyn pyjamas, Claire? That's what we were doing this week, the Carolyn pyjamas, with all the piping. So it was a lovely two-day class. People really, you really only get the, the top made in two days. I don't know how they managed to do that in what well, it was four day, four hours on the sewing bee, but anyway. Um, oh, Tom Hayward says, morning, ladies. Oh, hi, Tom. How are you from New Zealand? Nice to see you. Happy Christmas. Um, so... What else have we got? Oh, coming up, we've got a busy... This, I'm, I've actually got a week off next week. Dun, dun, dun. I'm not teaching next week, um, so I won't have a week at home and I might get some sewing done. Oh, Suzanne's making pyjamas as well. It's the thing. It's the thing to make at the moment. PJs, everybody. Oh, jersey ones. That's nice, actually. 
t-shirt top and trousers I have to keep moving my screen back uh, Sue's been decorating um, and she's going to do oh we're going to do some sewing between Christmas and New Year that's nice yeah. Christmas and Christmas yourself I'm going to try and do some sewing next week on my week off but you know best laid plans and all that <laughs> um, then when we get when I get back we have a fit and finish workshop there's still a space on that and then the Christmas weekend sewing school which is on the um, 17th and 18th of December there's one place just become available on that if anyone was hoping to come along with that it's been sold out for quite a while but someone just had to pull out so there's one place on the Christmas weekend sewing school if anyone fancies coming oh, along oh Sue Castle's here on Instagram oh that was quick that getting was home very fast. Sue that was very quick getting she home she said we had a fantastic time making pyjamas yes it was good fun wasn't it um, yeah Janet's coming to the um, weekend oh Janet's coming to both of those thank you Janet Janet's coming to fitting and finish and the Christmas weekend sewing school so looking <laughs> forward to seeing you uh, yeah, so that's first things coming up for that's the last two workshops before Christmas. We finish on the 18th um, of December and then it'll be Christmas. Can't believe that. Has anyone got their Christmas trees? Where did November go? I don't know. Can I just say, where did it disappear? It went to? With the West Country Retreat and Harrogate Show. Oh that's my where goodness, it, <laughs> it just disappeared. Hi Sharon, how are you? Hi Sharon. Nice to see you. Yeah, it did, November did fly past with all those things going on, didn't it? Um, yeah, so. <laughs> So yeah, so now we've got, I haven't got the Christmas tree up here yet. Anyone got their Christmas trees up? I'm doing mine tomorrow. I will do mine next week. So I might need to come and get the Christmas decks down. For I was waiting for that. Yeah, because yeah. I can't move, I can't move them off. Oh, that's my excuse. That's your excuse. Yeah. Uh, see you later, Sue. Sue's off to a party. Hi, birthday Sue. party. Have fun. Sharon just made the Evie skirt. That's a lovely, is that the bias skirt, the Evie skirt? I have a feeling that's a bias skirt. Very nice. What's everyone else been up to? I've been I've been keeping an eye on Midhurst Sewers. Lots of good things have been going up there as well. Uh, Jilly and Louise have been doing lots of interesting posts about uh, various different things they've spotted, whether it's uh, interesting articles or fabric sales or bargains. Um, oh, it is the buyer skirt. I thought it was. Mm, I think that's one we made, isn't it? Yeah, it I, was. I made that one. Yeah, yeah. Um, so really good things. Cynthia did a lovely knitty Christmas jumper. That was so pretty, Cynthia, and. Uh, uh, Margaret went on a lampshade making class down in Chichester. That was, did you see the pictures of that? I did, they looked lovely. That was down at, um, at Cloth Kits, a lady came in and ran a class. Like a pleated on one, wasn't beautiful, it? Beautiful, yeah. Hand pleated uh, lampshades, they had to cover the frames and everything. So she really enjoyed that. Uh, Suzanne has been busy. Suzanne's always busy. Suzanne's done some beautiful things. Her finished her Ogden cami and her patina blouse, as well as um, making lovely coats, lovely blue coat, and that beautiful red coat you posted today, Suzanne. It looks really lovely finished. Well done really lovely and lots of dresses lots of dresses for your granddaughters they're very lucky Janet is dresses. going to make the kilo wrap dress for her godson's wedding oh, on the 7th of January a dress, it's right it? behind you yes that's this one red, my red velvet one that's the kilo dress that's my Christmas day dress this year because it's made in stretch velvet <laughs> that's very comfy very comfortable <laughs> indeed who else has everyone been up to oh Jackie finished her clear coat that looked great Jackie if you're watching really great because it's been to a few workshops to be to be worked on and it's yeah finally finished coats coats are a project aren't they suzanne will know coats are a project so you have to really take your time with them and make things in between Ju that julie has been making a thrifty stitches codigan oh is that the um oh i saw a picture of i that. saw a picture yeah it looks nice. really not dawson the dawson isn't it called the dawson i think oh jackie is watching. oh there you are jackie fantastic your coat looks beautiful you'll enjoy wearing that and you'll have seen another, uh, Maggie finished her patina blouse with that amazing pattern matching down the front as well. Very good. That was very good. I was eye chickened out and just did plain. But Maggie, <laughs> Maggie did full on pattern matching, which was really, really good. So yeah, there's been lots going on. It's really nice to see what you all make. Especially when we're at the shows and we get a little bit out of touch with everybody, don't we, when we're at the shows. And um, we've been posting very much because we've been, we've, you'll have seen our reels from the shows though. Amy was very good doing the reels. I was trying. Yeah. They were fun reels. You have to have the music on for those though. If you're not yeah. watching our reels, put the music up because there's uh, some good fun music as well. So did anyone buy anything in the Black Friday sale? It's very tempting at the Linton one, wasn't it? Mm, I switched over. Christine bought some lint beautiful Linton that she bought in the Black Friday sale in today, which was a blue with a sparkle on it. Mm. Julie also made the kilo dress, such a great pattern. Isn't it great? It's a really good pattern, isn't it? really good i had the very original kilo dress pattern which is only available as a sleeveless dress it didn't have all the fancy stuff that they have now so i used the 
sleeves from the Maker's Atelier wrap dress. So if anyone's got the original pattern with the sleeveless, you need to extend the shoulder a little bit and then you could use the sleeves from the Maker's Atelier wrap dress. Top tip. Yeah, because the, the new one has got different shoulder widths. It's got sleeves, sleeveless, and it's also got the um, trouser, the, the jumpsuit version as well. So there's lots of, there's many lines. There's <laughs> many lines. I would suggest tracing whichever one you want on that one because it's uh, lots of different lines on that one. Janet's nearly worn her one out. Well, it does look good on you, Janet. It's a really good dress. <laughs> it's so flattering, isn't it? Really good. I haven't tried the jumpsuit, though. I could have made it. Maggie made a jumpsuit, didn't she? Mm. It looked really good. Um, so, yeah, I'm not, I, don't, I don't think I'll make anything new to wear this Christmas because I've got my nice um, velvet dress, but I've got, a, I've got a coat on my cutting table to make, so hopefully I'll get that made next week. <laughs> That's my plan. That, that is, is optimistic. Well, you're banned from coming here. I might even take your car keys off you, so you'll have to stay at home. <laughs> no, I'm not coming here. No, I might. I might do some Christmas shopping. Oh yeah. I might do one, one, one Christmas shopping day, which would be nice. Take Nanny. Yeah. I best suppose Nanny's remembered to watch us today. Probably not. No. Well, mainly because I forgot to post the tile until this morning. Oh yes, that's true. <laughs> yeah, that's true. She might watch some catch up though. So let's say hello. <laughs> Yes, yeah, so a bit of Christmas shopping next week. Those lines were crazy, weren't they, Julie? Yeah, so definitely go over the size you want in a, in a highlighter pen and then trace it. So you've got the other styles for later on. What other news have we got here? So, Sewing Bee. Sewing Bee's coming back Christmas. That's exciting. It's always fun to have anything that's sewing, isn't it, on the telly? So the, the Celebrity Sewing Bee and Johannes from Sewing Bee's going to be on it. I hope it's not Strictly. as silly as last year, like yeah. costuming and... Probably will be. Yeah. You know, we'll still watch it. Oh, hi, Barbie. Barbie's here on Instagram. Hi, Barbie. How are you? Not long till I'll be seeing you in January. I'm very excited. Um, Lisa made up her first bit of New York fabric. Woohoo! Oh, you have to send us some pictures, Lisa. Yeah, same as Sue. Sewing, sewing week between Christmas and New Year. That's a good plan, I think. Yeah, we'll all have to post our pictures of our makes from between Christmas and New Year. So also on the Christmas sewing bee is Natalie Cassidy, Sonia from EastEnders and um, uh, Penny Lancaster. I'm looking forward to seeing what she does actually. And uh, Rosie Ramsey, is that? That is... Chris Ramsey's wife. Ah, Chris Ramsey. I think. Yeah, and isn't she in the Christmas? She's in the Christmas Strictly, Strictly as well. As well. She's yeah. getting all over the channels yeah. this Christmas. Yeah, Rosie Ramsey's on the bee, yes. That's right. So she's... And she's uh, she does that podcast with her husband, doesn't she? Which Chris, is really yeah. funny. Yeah, so I think it's her. I think it's I'm her. guessing it is. Yeah. Pretty sure. I think it is. Yeah, because well, Claire says she's hilarious. I'm assuming it is. Yes. Rosie Ramsey. So looking forward to that. It's on the 22nd of December, which is Thursday before Christmas. About 8 o'clock, I think. Don't know what time. And probably some 8 o'clock or 9 o'clock, won't it be? So, and they normally do a second one, don't they? At New Year. Maybe yeah. it's just one this year. I've only heard about one. Um, so there's a few things we've been watching on television as well, which I don't have time to catch up with you on TV things either. Suzanne's got to go and pick up Richard. Oh, have a lovely Christmas, Suzanne. Nice to see Hi. you. Say hello to Richard. Catch up soon. Um, uh, Kingdom of Dreams, which is on Now TV. I think I posted a picture, a, a link to it on Claire's Threads a few weeks ago. Um, and it's about the behind the scenes of the fashion industry. So. If you have no chance to watch, it's on now Sky TV or Now TV. Really interesting behind the scenes. Um, look, there's a link on the Claire's Threads page a bit further back. Lots of stuff about John Galliano, Alexander McQueen, yeah, and how ruthless it can be and the pressure they're under. So yeah, go and watch that one. It's and lots of good fashion, obviously. Lots of lovely clothes. Uh, Julie, what's the other dress pattern behind you? Oh, now this is um, a bow pattern, which I, this is one I made for the cruise, which I think it might be discontinued, that pattern. Oh. Um, it's, it's a bow pattern. I'll try and find the number and I'll put it, I'll link it later, but I've got a feeling it might be discontinued from their current range, but it might be available on eBay or something. It's a nice one though, because it, it's, uh, it's got a wrap front that way and then a wrap skirt as well. And this is a lovely sequin fabric that I bought from Bloomsbury Square. Actually, both the fabrics are from Bloomsbury Square. The stretch velvet is from Bloomsbury Square as well. And it's not, it's lovely. It's a lovely pattern. I really enjoyed wearing it on the cruise. I was going to shorten it um, to wear two of 
Christmas party, but I thought, no, I'm going to leave it long. Hmm. This is my cruise dress. Yeah, leave it long. Yeah. Been Hang on. Me. Instagram is paused. Oh. Is it paused? I think it's back. It's back. Oh. Sorry, Instagram. I don't know what happened there. No. <laughs> um, <laughs> the video paused. Long but it passed. Yeah, probably. But we're back. Yeah. So, yeah, I love working with sequins, actually. These were quite nice small sequins, so I could actually sew through them without um, having to chop them out of the seam allowances. So, yeah, check out Kingdom of Dreams on Sky TV. Anyone watching The Crown? Have any watched the first one? I've watched the first one. Yeah, so I need yeah. to... There's some lovely clothes in that, though. Um, and that's about it. So that's all the time I've had to watch TV, because we've been so busy uh, all over the place. I think we managed to... What do we watch? We watch I'm a Celebrity and things, silly things like that, weren't we? Just to so it's easy. have something to watch. But I'm a bit out, out of date with any nice... Well, I've been um, watching the football. Oh, yeah, the football. Yeah, a bit of football. So if anyone's got some good, nice fashion-related things on TV, do just let, let us know. Always like to hear what's going on. Someone told me really about a really good podcast called Dressed the other day, um, which had a good interview with Tim Gunn, if you're interested in fashion podcast that's a good one but apart from that has anyone else got any other news oh the new pattern company uh called know me patterns which is was um, been promoted this year it's by mimi g and mimi g's brought out this whole range um to encourage fashion designers to do young fashion designers to do commercial patterns so she's taken 12 um fashion designers and they all get to do their own range and they're actually photographed on their pattern co covers of their patterns as well you can find them on so direct 12 designs uh so that'd be quite interesting she's going to constantly be changing that it's called know me patterns so you can get to know some new up-and-coming pattern designers they're really good actually i was looking at them the other week mm. and there's some good men's ones as well on there because yeah her husband mm. obviously is also a designer yes we do have um we have quite we've we started doing patterns at the shows actually so we have now in we haven't got them on the website but when you come to the sewing room you'll see we have got quite a few bow patterns buttery patterns and we found that the men's patterns did go down really well didn't we yeah actually it's, simplicity the mimi g range mimi is the g best range. one for men's mm. so we've got quite a lot of uh, new patterns here although it sounds like a little empty at the moment i know i need just to got stop back the show um we've also you probably see at the corner of Got some Linton here as well, which we had for the shows as well, which was very popular, particularly in Harrogate. We had skirt lengths and jacket lengths, one or two left. If anyone's visiting here, there's a lovely red one. We try not to use it ourselves, it's very mm. difficult, isn't yeah, it? It is. Mind you, luckily, I've seen them so much now because of like labeling them, pricing them, photographing them. Mm. I'm now over it. <laughs> you know, oh, when you I like, believe it. No, I am. You'll be off for a week and come back and go, Oh. Oh, I forgot how nice them. There's to. one skirt length which I am in love with, but I'm ignoring it. And those are the ones that we really liked. Aside, Sold first, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. So we haven't got many left now. The other thing we did for the shows was we did some kits. We have a few left. So these are actually on the website if anyone's interested in our kits. They are um, they're all limited because it was just some dead stock fabric that we got for the shows to, to try and um, link the fabrics with the workshops. And... Uh, the tool so we have we've got Ogden cami kits which have some really nice silk this is a lovely silk crepe machine with anchors on it and you get the pattern and matching thread and if there's a, if there's any notions needed they come in a nice little box these are all on the website under kits this one's for the kimono jacket or if you're coming on one of the workshops that's for these garments then you can always get the kit that's for kimono. Beautiful. Look at that lovely visco. That's a silk visco. Yeah, that vis one. no, visco Georgette. Visco Georgette. Visco Georgette, that one. Beautiful. Multi colour visco Georgette. And also the shirt dress was the other one that we did. Which was this one is another dress visco. Look at the, I love this one, it's one of my favourites. There's only, there's only a few left, but they're on the website. Um, so if you like kit and you want to buy these for yourself or for a sewing friend, there's a t shirt kit as well. Yeah, a there's a couple of t shirts. There's another kimono with some silk cotton. Yeah, so there's a couple. There's another shirt dress in like a navy left. blue. Um, yeah, Sue so Castle says all change at Farlem. What does that mean, Sue? All change at Farlem. And Claire says her daughter's boyfriend just bought his first machine. Yeah, we had a lot of... Uh, that's really good news, Claire. We had quite a few men... I think because we had the men's patterns, we had quite a few men coming on the stand. But you know the um, 
uh, at Ali Pali they did the Boys So Too runway, um, uh, which is organised by the hashtag Boys So Too, and um, Clive and Mark uh, Mark Francis also are very involved in that. So it's really good to see lots of men sewing. So having men's patterns is really good. So and good men's pants as well not patterns. just standard shirt and suit yeah, that yeah. all so the big boys used to do really good like denim jackets bomber jackets trousers jeans you know all sorts of really good ones are available and there are some independents but actually when you start looking at both buttrick mccall's they have the best range they have a really good range of men's patterns um so yeah that's a good plan. and because we don't get to go into shops and flick through the pattern books now you forget so, oh she was referring to my claim that i like you were cured of Linton. Oh, yeah. Yes, that's true. It yeah. does check. It only lasts five minutes. It's only the. I'm certainly not cured of Linton. No. <laughs> just the no. particular ones that. Just, I, the, yeah. just the half dozen that are left. I here. still have some on my shelf that I um, look at and swoon. Yes. Yeah. So it's really good to see some um, lots of men sewing. Really good, and it's, they, had, they were really interesting. All the notions and everything. Yeah. Weren't they came by all the tools and. Yeah. So it was great. So hopefully the boys hashtag boys so too. Have a look at that, Claire. Or encourage your daughter's boyfriend to have a look at hashtag boys so too. Um, the runway show at Ali Pali was amazing actually. They had uh, men from all over the world came and did a show wearing all the things they've been making. It was great. So that's what we, else we've got. We haven't got a lot of new uh, haberdashery items, but we have um, put our gift shop up on the website. Also, we have our gift vouchers available. So if anyone is looking for uh, to give people inspiration for presents for themselves or you want to buy them by the I've got a place on the retreat in March when's the final I think the final um, if I can remember off the top it's usually a month before yeah. from my memory for retreats Julie I think it's the 1st of February but it should say on the website um, as well but I think it's the 1st of February I usually do it a yeah, month but before don't worry, will send you but email. yeah I will just <laughs> I'll basically, I just send you an invoice when, yeah. it's, when it's due <laughs> I come chasing um, yeah, you'll get a, you'll get an invoice for that. Uh, yeah, so gift vouchers are available. Uh, there's, there's lots of um, ideas on our gift shop. We also now have a recommends page, which is you know we often say you can get this on Amazon. Uh, so we now have a page with all the things that we recommend on Amazon. And full disclosure, full disclosure, we are now Amazon associates. So if you buy anything, if you click on the link on our from our page, we do get a very tiny bit of commission if you buy anything. Um, from our link so the recommended page for the things that we mention we say go and get from Amazon and that that is the version of the product that we have already researched and come down yes. to the conclusion that that particular yeah. one that we've linked it to exactly so is a good one yeah so it's normally there, there's I can't separate it at the moment so it's just quite a long list so there's sewing things and there's books and then there's cocktail stuff of course of course yeah so there'll always be there'll be constantly be things added to that so um, yes, yeah, so Amazon Recommends is on our website now, as well as the gift shop, the kits, yeah, all sorts of things, and the gift vouchers. So while we're chatting, I'm going to do a little demo today. Um, so I thought because uh, it's nearly Christmas, um, I would show you how to make um, a little bag because this is, well, one of the things we always talk about in the sewing room is what do you do with your scraps? And I thought that actually this is quite a good little scrap buster. And also, you can use it for wrapping your Christmas presents. So, two in one, and it's a little lined bag. If I just pull it through, you'll see it's completely lined. This is made in silk jupion because I have lots of odd shapes of silk jupion. A lovely lady um, who was stopping her um, dress business gave me a load of silk jupion, but it's all, she also used to make all of her stuff on the buyer, so there's nothing that I can use because it's all like big triangle bits. But it's very good for making these little bags so I thought I'd show you how to make one of these today and we can have a chat while I'm doing it and then you might find it useful to use your scraps so Amy's going to come in oh Suzanne's just saying happy Christmas happy Christmas Suzanne and I will show you I've forgotten my measurements and I haven't got my tape measure, that's the only thing. <laughs> you know that I never have my tape measure with me. But I can count it actually because it's, I've done this pattern. I've never said a pattern because I thought they want to make them all the same. Um, but I've done myself a pattern. So this one is uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 18 inches by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 18 by 8 um, inches. Oh. Uh, Bye Claire. <laughs> Bye Claire. 
thank you very much for joining us. It's nice to see you. I've cut two pieces, 18 by 8, and I've got a nice... Oh, that's a Janet colour. It is. Look at that, Janet, like that. Um, I've cut two pieces, um, one for the outside, one for the lining. And I've also cut two rectangle pieces, and they are the same width by three inches. So they are eight inches by three inches, like that. I've got cut two of those, and then I've turned in three eighths on each side and folded them in half. So those tabs are just turned in. If you're making a silk bag, you do need to line it because... <laughs> I've got lots of little bits of this, Jen. <laughs> you can make one of these with your offcuts from your lovely fabrics in this colour. Uh, yeah, so just fold in three eggs on each side and then fold them in half. And then we are going to put one on each end. So this fabric frays like mad, so you need to make it really quickly. We're going to sandwich one between the ends. So just centre that over one end, so it's going to stick out three eggs on each side now because we folded that over like that and like that I'll put a couple of pins in as well this is my lovely little Ethel and Joan pin tidy I don't think we've shown these on the we've only got a couple left yeah now. these are the we have the Ethel and Joan buttons and this is an Ethel and Joan magnetic pin tidy and she's just bought out mini versions of this which are needle with a magnet on the back that you can call needle tidies which you can have like a magnetic brooch. So we'll be getting some of those in. Okay, so there's one on that end and then the other side again. So all raw edges together. And sandwich the little band that you've made between the two. I was telling anyone I was going to do this. She goes, now, are you doing any prep beforehand? Are you making it full size or is it going to be mini? <laughs> <laughs> no, she went for the no, full I size. The full size one because it's pretty. Okay, so I put those in there. So now I'm going to stitch those. I'm just using a one centimetre or three eighths seam allowance on each side. You can use any fabric for this. I feel like I want to make them in all different colours you now. Oh, no, I'm getting my Christmas present in this year. Yeah, you're only getting a small present. <laughs> it's going to be a little bag like this. What's the silk doing? I thought your bobbin had run out there. And I'm no. like, oh my goodness. <laughs> well, I did make sure I had a decent amount in the bobbin. Side. Now, I don't know where my mini iron is, so I can't iron this, but normally I would iron this in between the stages. As you know, I like to press things in between my stages. It'd be nice in linton. It would be nice in linton. You could do a nice linton on the outside and a nice silk on the inside. We all have all these off cuts, don't we? On okay. So. off those threads. So if I turn it through this way you can see what it looks like. So it looks like this at the moment. I'll just finger press this but probably I would normally press that a bit better. Like that. Okay, can you see that okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's what it looks like at the moment. So then I'm going to turn it back inside out. And we're going to turn it so you have half of the outside on one side and the lining on the other. And the tabs need to go towards the main fabric. Okay, so I've got them going towards the main fabric. And I'm going to pin along the edge here. So making sure they match. That's the trouble with, with using contrasting threads. Contrasting fabrics rather. You've got to make sure it really matches. And pin. Now you might want to just pin your little tabs out of the way there because you don't want to get them caught in the side seams. So sometimes just put a pin in just to hold those out of the way. And then pin. Yeah, they'll be good for all sorts of things. Cynthia, is that red linton in the background the same as my couture jacket? It's very similar. Actually. Similar, very uh, Cynthia, similar. But it's, I'll just zoom up actually. Yeah, while. it's got a bit of 
sparkle and I don't know if you'll have the sparkle mm -hmm. there. You can see. Oh, sorry, Mum. I'm trying to pin here. Sorry. It's um, very pretty, yes. It's got little sparkles in. So I'm going to leave a gap on the lining of a couple of inches there on one side. So that side I'm going to leave a gap. This side I can go all the way down. So again, I'm just going to match. The tabs are coming towards the main side of the bag. Like that. So the tabs are coming towards the main side and pin all the edges together. And again, I might just move those tabs out of the way so they don't get caught in the seam. That would be very annoying. I don't know I've got some dodgy pins on here. Everything gets chucked. This is the one off my desk, so it gets all sorts of things. Hang on a minute. Okay. Janet said, these bags are good for containing toiletries and cosmetics as mm. gifts for Women's Refuge initiatives. They would be very good. Very they're good really idea. Good to make, and you're making them from scraps of fabric as well. So you're just using your your offcuts and you can make them any size you like. I say, I've just made them this, that size that I mentioned, 18 by 8. But you can make them any size you like. So again, I'm going to stitch this with a 3 8 seam allowance. I can just grab my thread, that would be useful. So, just doing a little, all the way down on this one. one I'm going to leave a gap but I don't want to leave it at the bottom I'm going to, so I'm going to stitch a couple of inches up stop before I get to that pin and then start leave a couple of inches gap and start again over this side those pins up. Make sure everything's flat underneath there. There we go. is all stitched so now I can turn this through my little gap here and actually it could be reversible these little bags except that I'm gonna machine stitch the lining <laughs> I'm just going to push out the corners. On both pieces, that's the silver side done, and then the blue side. There, like that, so it's looking like this at the moment. And I'll probably give this a little press now. I'm just going to stitch this hole here. I'm going to stitch that together. And you could do this by hand. I'm going to just do this on the machine. Now I'm going to leave that because I've got blue thread on the machine. So I will stitch that by hand, that hole. Um, so I don't want to stitch it with blue thread. Or you, you could stitch it by machine if you had the matching thread there. That would spoil it, I feel. So I'm just going to tuck the lining down inside. So that's what it looks like at the moment. And then I'm going to grab some ribbon. And I'm going to 
use my little clip and glide bodkin if you're threading you can use a safety pin but this clip and glide bodkin has been it's a fantastic ga gadget you clip the ribbon or whatever you're using onto the end of it and then you can just thread it through that side so i'm going to go through that side and then back through the other side What's the benefit of making and sewing the tab separately? Sorry? Julie is asking, what's the benefit of making and sewing the tab separately? Because you can thread it, you've got, you've got the openings on both sides. Mm -hmm. so if you just turn it over, you've got, to, you've got to do buttonholes, you've got to find a way of being able to thread your cord through. That's the, that's the thing, because you need to have that this little bit here with the gaps to thread through. If you um, didn't have those tabs, you wouldn't have anything to thread through. You'd have to do a, make a buttonhole. I see. Burgess Lisa says, great tutorial, thanks. And I'm gonna go back that way as well. So I'll go back that way as well. The same way, look, I need to do it the other way. Did this on my child one earlier. <laughs> so you need your two bits that way, and then you need to come back this way. Like that. And back in that way. Now I have ribbons on both sides and I can just go like that. Cute. There you go. A little bag that you can put all your goodies in. I'm just going to tie those. And cut them off. And, oh, and I can tie those ones as well. I can't remember if I made that one a bit long, but never mind. I've got loads of this ribbon, so. You could make stocking sacks like that. You could do it any size you like. Well, I know what I'm doing next week. Yeah, look, what fun is that? <laughs> <laughs> and it's all fully lined and you can use all your fancy fabrics. You could do Christmas fabrics if you had them as well. The only thing with the Christmas fabric, I did have a nice reindeer fabric, but you'd have had reindeers going upside down on the other side. Oh, uh, Because you folded it, so you need to have something that hasn't got a one-way pattern. Unless you stitched it in the middle. Unless you had a seam across the bottom, yes, which mm. you could do. There you go. Aww. A little Christmas sewing project for you. Very cute. You can use up your little stash busting Christmas sewing project. <laughs> two. Look at that. I've got two already. That's good, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> In silk. So I hope you have a go at that because it's really good fun. If you've got, like I said, any, any size, you could make those. I think Amy's idea of a linton one would be quite nice. You, you might have to use um, a different fabric at the top there because the linton wouldn't gather very well, but you could use linton for the main bit and then maybe use the, line, the lining fabric at the top for the drawstring bit. I'm just fitting now because Alice Amy's run off to get ice and things for her cocktails. Here she is. So Amy's going to come in and Amy's got a fantastic cocktail for us this week. So. Yeah, travel packing, very good yeah, idea. Exactly, you could even make them in little, little waterproof linings as well. So, really good, all different sizes. Good, I'm glad you enjoyed that. I really enjoyed making that one, it was good fun. Especially when I realised I had some nice silk to use up. So, I'm going to move over because Amy's coming in. Mm -hmm. And uh, so, if you're on Instagram, and uh, we can't read the comments at the moment because uh, they're on the phone up there. Oh, they're on the other side. Hello. Hi. You all right? Hi. I'm good, thank you. Good, good. Not as glamorous as you today. Oh well. You've been busy. You've been busy putting things on the on the website and things, haven't you, today? We just yeah. to stop after the show is we have to stop take as well. So been to make a full sure, on stop yeah, take. So hopefully all the stock is correct on the website now. Yeah, <laughs> That's is. also highlighted how little we have. Yes. <laughs> we need to do lots of orders. We do need to do some orders because we did quite well at the shows. Yeah. So I did that oh. to my page. That's your page. Okay. 
Okay. <laughs> so what's going on? You've been what's talking? going on? Slide it back over again because it just keeps disappearing. Oh yeah. Hi Marianne. Hi Marianne. How are you? Nice to see you. Um, what is going on? So um, I'll do a retreat update. Mm -hmm. uh, Brighton next year is still sold out. There are three, possibly two places left on the Couture retreat in June. So if you've been thinking about that. Um, there are only a couple of places left. And next year's Tot Ness is sold out. I'm just waiting for 2024 dates to be confirmed. Yes. Would you believe? Because there's already six people on the wait list for that one. Yes. So um, if you want to go on the waiting list for any of those treats, um, let me know. Pop me an email. Because people do drop out. Mm. Um, Brighton currently doesn't have a waiting list. Because I had a couple drop out, so the wait list has been fulfilled. So, mm. um, yeah. and uh, The Mesa Atelier retreat has changed the, this year, hasn't it? Just the jump in ahead of what I'm I was going to say. I'm like, you've had your you. time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> Taking the words out of my mouth. I'm just asking the question. <laughs> Do we have a code for the hotel in Brighton? Yes, I did send it out, Janet. Um, but I'll send it to you again. Um... Yes, the Mesa Atelier retreat has changed um, from a standard retreat where we would normally, uh, you get any pattern from the Mesa Atelier included um, to make during the week. It's now going to be a focus on coats, mm. isn't it? I'm not saying you get <laughs> Oh no, it's a discussion. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is. It is. Oh, yeah. Oh, right. um, so the idea is everybody gets a copy of the classic coat pattern. And you'll be working on a toile for the week. Mm -hmm. um, so mum will be there to teach you all the techniques like mm -hmm. welt pockets and down buttonholes, down buttonholes and all the different underlinings, yeah, mm -hmm. everything you need. And then on Friday you go shopping for the fabric for your coat if you don't have one already. And then you'll go home with a fully lined coat toile um, ready to make your actual coat. Mm -hmm. So that again is almost sold out now. Um, I think there's only three places yeah. left on that yeah, one. It is. It's been really good. Um, so it's quite exciting. Completely different concept of a mm. retreat for us. Be yeah. really much more focused learning, um, as well as going for dinners and yeah, all those, all, all, the, all the fun stuff. things. You know, drinks, cocktails, all that sort of yeah. thing. Yeah, yeah. Kind of nice having eighteen people making the exact same thing. Yeah, well. it's gonna be really interesting actually because everyone, although it's the same pattern, and we're doing twelves, you'll be able to think about what different um features you'd like to be a coat mm. yeah. and Frances will go through her trends and fabrics and she'll have mm. samples of all the different fabrics she's made that coat in so wool or leather or what else was she? denim mm. lots of different variations so then throughout the week you can decide what fabric you might like to yeah. make it in and we'll do semen hem samples for all those fabrics so mm. you can decide if you like working with them as well yeah i think so. the leather one would be lovely mm. so that is the mace atelier um that's it for retreats at the moment. I'm just confirming 2024 dates now for mm -hmm. other things. Um, and as soon as they're up, you lot will be the first to know. You will. The uh, big news is... Hi, Annette. Oh, hi, Annette. How are you? Nice hi, to yeah. see you. Big news is that we now have launched 2024 New York Cruise because Cunard released their dates. Just yesterday, wasn't it? So this week, Yeah, this it? week. Yeah, this so week. I quickly have... Built the website. Uh, tw next year, 23 is sold out. Mm -hmm. So, um, and I have some people on the wait list for that, but 2024 dates are now available. So if you've been thinking about that trip for a while, um, yeah, get in touch. Yeah, that's exciting. It that's is. Exciting. Um, and then the other big news is we are going to potentially be featured on next year's Stitch Festival catwalk show. Um, so we are after some models that might want to come along and wear something that they've made on a class yeah. um, with mum uh, or a retreat, mm -hmm. but something that mum has guided you through and mm -hmm. hopefully it ideally would be a garment that we have a future class for as well. Yeah, that'd be good. That'd be um, good. But we way. need four to five models to walk the catwalk at Islington on the Saturday and you get a free ticket to the show mm -hmm. if you want to do it. So get in touch pop us an email if you think you might like to do that yeah it's um, really fun. and yeah last year's cat looked really good fun didn't really it? good fun yeah, it's, it's, the first one, so it's, it's usually new. pattern brands and fabric companies um but oh hi jilly <laughs> oh never, never mind, mind jilly you can watch some catch up <laughs> yeah we've still got 15 minutes yes <laughs> yeah so um 
if you fancy doing a bit of modelling for us. That'd be great. Yeah. That'd be great. Yeah, that's our next act. That's actually our next event, isn't it? The Islington, is that before? We... No, Brighton. Brighton first, then Islington. Then Islington. Yeah. With no break. <laughs> yeah. And then Meg's Atelier. Meg's Atelier, we have a break between it. Because Meg's Atelier's end of April. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. So. So, yeah, we don't have another event until March. I know. I know. That feels strange. It does feel strange. There's so much going on. It's well, very we have odd. got a wedding to plan. You know, we'd have the wedding oh, to be so. Yeah. Yeah. We don't have that to deal with now. <laughs> Nobody yeah. Does. So yeah. So that's uh, yeah. So exciting times. Always, there's always new things, and well, obviously there's always new things coming up. So we'll let mm. you know as we as we think of new things to do. And there's lots of new websites, uh, lots of new workshops on the website as well. So do have a look. Mm. I've put up quite a few recently. So have a look at next year's calendar. Yeah. Um. So I'm gonna do the cocktail. Oh, good. So Jilly's just got here for the right time. You got him perfect yeah, time. Just in Jilly. time, Jilly. <laughs> um. So the cocktail today is quite involved. There's, Based on your birthday present. There's quite it? a few ingredients and equipment. And uh, it's basically an advert for Hotel Chocolat. <laughs> <laughs> this whole cocktail. Because I was given a velvetizer for my birthday. So I thought, let's have boozy hot chocolate. Mm. And we did visit the Hotel Chocolat factory shop on the way back from Harrogate. Because it's about halfway. And it's on the M1. So we, we thought we should, you know, do that. I need to we? just move that. Mm -hmm. So I can put it there. Okay. There we go. You don't have to have a velvetizer. I just have one. You can do this with normal hot chocolate, but I thought seeing as I have a velvetizer. Any excuse. Any excuse <laughs> to make hot chocolate. Uh, if Glass is watching, she'll love that bit because the trolley's still rattling. The trolley's rattling along. Yeah. So, I'm going to get the velvetizer going. And then, so I use, because I don't drink cow's milk, or we don't drink cow's milk, so I use Oatly the barista version because you get a nice frothy. Hot chocolate, which I haven't opened in the past. <laughs> um, I'm just gonna... And for this one, if, you, if anyone's got a velvetizer, they'll know that there are many flavours. Um, You've the been going through them, haven't you? I've been working my way through. <laughs> but for this version, I'm just going to use the classic chocolate. But it would work with any of the flavours, really. Have a few of you got velvetizers? I think we've talked to people... Uh, on retreats and more things, people that... than I was expecting yeah, have got I this. Have got I was saying at the Top Nest retreat that this was what I was given. People, oh yeah, got one of them. <laughs> oh, quite a few chocoholics. So that's going to do its thing. So what does that do? So I don't know what a velvetizer is. It's, it's basically got a little thing. like um, whisk thing inside, oh. and it gets hot, mm. and it's just yeah. I don't you can know. smell it already. Yeah. So to make these boozy. We're going to add a little vodka and Cointreau. Yeah, George is asked for a velvetizer. Ooh! Sometimes it's noisy. A bit like the irons. What's a velvetizer? It's a... Um, a hot chocolate maker, basically. It's a hot chocolate maker, but I just need to shout over it because it's decided to be loud. Uh, it's, no, it's, whisk, it's heating and whisking the milk and the chocolate together. Yeah. It's made by Hotel Chocolat. And you can get... Um, from Hotel Chocolate, they come in big bags or little sachets. You get like cocoa nibs chucked into your milk. In different flavours. In different flavours. Well, Janet says David has just has one. He just bought it for the winter season. I, th I think, you know. Ideal. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, sometimes it's noisy and sometimes it's not. Today it's being noisy, but typical. typical. So, to make it boozy, we're going to do vodka and contro. So we're going to have a shot per person of vodka. Don't keep on shouting. <laughs> yeah, don't keep on shouting. That's done its thing now. So 25 mils of vodka each and 25 mils of Cointreau. So it's kind of going to make a chocolate orange because Cointreau is Perfect. orange. That's my favourite. Yeah. And the reason I'm putting it in ice is just because the ice will bash... It's not to make it cold, because we still want it to be a hot chocolate. It's just so the alcohol properly mixes together. The ice will bash it around suitably. So I'm only going to do a quick shake, just to properly mix it. And then just pour that into the bottom. I realise I didn't bring my strainer, so I'm just going to have to do it like this. Those nuts are perfect for hot chocolate. They are. There we go. 
the little vodka quantro mixture in there. So then you will take your hot chocolate. Is that how long it takes to get ready? That's really quick. Isn't yeah, that's it? it. It's done. Brilliant. And it comes with this great little jug. I'm I'm not being paid by Hotel Chocolat, but I think it's just bitch. <laughs> and I think you do it properly. You need a bit longer. Well, I don't know how to do it. Maybe that's why it was making a noise. Because it wasn't on properly. It wasn't on properly. That sounds better. That sounds better. <laughs> it just wasn't doing it. Um, so that won't take long. We might have to chat amongst ourselves while it re velvetizes. It's a good demo, isn't it? Yeah. We'll just, yeah. We'll cut this bit out. Yeah. <laughs> We're live. <laughs> that sounds better. I did think that noise was weird. It's not supposed to make that noise. Um, so for garnish. Uh, Hotel Chocolat also sell. <laughs> Hotel Chocolat. Um, this is velvetized chocolate cream, which has vodka in it. So it's vodka, chocolate and cream that's been put into one of those and bottled. I think that's perfect. What not, what's <coughs> not to like about that then? Really, so I was like, it? how can I do this to make it fun? And while we were <laughs> while we were in Harrogate, while we were in Harrogate, my, my, um, our friend Dan, he also has a bar and he was talking about getting one of these to do many uh, espresso martinis wasn't it yeah so amy thought, oh that's a good idea i'm gonna see if my hot chocolate my chocolate cream will go in there i did test it earlier and it didn't quite work so but i think it's because it wasn't cold enough and i hadn't practiced enough so we're gonna see it It'll may not work nice. it might work whatever we're gonna get cream on top um it's just ah, ah. there you go that's better so we now have a nice frothy hot chocolate to pour in there. That looks nice. Mm. The only thing is these mugs are a little bit small. Small, so you might not see the cream. <laughs> but we will. So you have to take it out of the camera. This has got alcoholic chocolate cream in it. <laughs> That did cream. Yes, it did. Oh, look at that. That's, oh, look at that. That's what you wanted <laughs> to do. Oh, so the bottom's probably colder then. Yeah, look at that. So, it, you can't see it properly, but... It's one like, like uh, squirty cream. Squirty cream. Then, Hotel Chocolat also sell <laughs> little chocolate Christmas trees. So we can take our mini graters, grate it over the top, because you've all got these mini graters You've now, all got these you? now, so I told you to buy them. And then stick the chocolate Christmas tree. Oh, it just sunk. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, there's a nice surprise in the, <laughs> in the bottom. Maybe you should have got a cocktail stick or something. Yeah. Well, I think if it was stiffer cream. It would have sat on the top. Yeah, so I maybe need to change my... There we go. Oh, well, it disappeared. But it's there. So is that to do with the... You said that... That um, cream maker, you can get gas. Yeah, the gas, gas ones I bought weren't as strong as they need to be. I did get straws I or it, spoons. I think it needs straws. Yeah, perfect. Cheers. Happy <laughs> Cheers. hot chocolate. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can see. It's like chocolate, orange, and alcohol all in, one, all in one go. All in one go. It's really nice. I don't know if you can see, but it has all got frothy, frothy, frothy cream, cream, on, frothy top. cream on the top. I bought the spoons because I thought if the cream works, then you can just like that. Which it did. Oh, it's very alcoholic, that cream. <laughs> we might have to wait a minute before we go home. <laughs> the, actually, the cream is 12%. Oh, so, and um, you put quite a lot on there. Quite a lot one in. Oh, I think that's like, a, I think that's like Bailey's glasses, probably. Well, yeah, I nearly did it in um, martini glasses. Because mm. you could do it in a martini. You chocolate in a martini if it's too hot. That's quite strong. <laughs> quite <laughs> but yummy. Mm, that's great. Let's try that yeah. one. There we go. Chocolate orange, hot chocolate. It's just, it's just chocolate orange. It is. Oh, it's lovely. Really nice. Mm. Mm. Hi, Helen. We're just drinking alcoholic cho 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 chocolate. <laughs> I can't even speak now. <laughs> and we're making those at Christmas. Yeah, we definitely are. That's a Christmas drink for everybody. Yeah. You're welcome. Everybody go and buy a velvetizer. <laughs> shame they're not on Amazon. We could have I know, shame they're not on Amazon. We could have done them on our recommended we page. We could have. Oh. So, but yeah. Mm. There we go. So it's been lovely to catch up. I've missed these cocktails. <laughs>
been lovely to catch up with you all this week. It has. I don't I don't know that we'll get back to you before Christmas now because it's not a lot of time, is there? No. But if not, we'll be back in the new year with all our new year plans. Do keep in touch. <laughs> Well, it's, it's worth it, Catherine. Worth it, Catherine. Yeah, it is. It's quite dangerous though, because I have a hot chocolate every time. Yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately, Amy's not leaving that here though, so no. she'll be taking it home. Sorry, um, guys. <laughs> um, yeah, so we're back in the new year with lots of, of our lots of plans. But do keep in touch. We'll be posting things on our uh, Instagram and Facebook. It's just we have the lives. We haven't got time to do a live for Christmas now, have we? Really? So. Don't think so. No, but you never know. You never know. We might just pop up and surprise you. But thanks, so, th thanks so much for joining us today. It's been lovely. Yeah, Lots of people enjoy joining us today. Yeah. I'm going to stop talking. I'm going to speak in a minute. I'll take <laughs> this. <laughs> Sorry. I'm going to put, take this home. Yeah. <laughs> put it in the microphone. <laughs> yeah, I'll take it home and have it when I get home. So, yeah, thank you so much for joining us today. Do keep in touch, like I say, and uh, have a lovely Christmas if we don't see you. I'll have my normal laptop back. <laughs> thank you, Judy. <laughs> There's up. always a demo. Yeah. Always a cocktail and a, and a sewing demo. Um, oh, and we're hoping to see you all soon. Thank you. Oh, there you go. Sharon said just giving her an idea for Prezi's for her daughters. They would really appreciate that, Sharon, I think. I think it's a lovely Prezi. Bye-bye, <laughs> everybody. Bye, see everyone. You, see you very soon. Bye. Thanks for joining us. Bye.